It's a typical school day at Boyd Anderson High School in South Florida. But Kirby Edme is not a typical student. What right after I jumped to the other hole in the, the house, collapsed. Kirby is one of about 25 Haitian earthquake survivors enrolled here. The, the teachers were very patient with us. Some, some of us, we didn't speak English before we came here. And Principal Angel Almanzar observed other challenges. Lack of um, knowledge about the American education system, feeling isolated. To combat that isolation, the school has joined with the New York-based French Heritage Language Program to expand classes in French, the main language in Haitian schools. Hello. Teacher Mathieu Daquin, Haitian himself, calls the classes therapeutic. It's, uh, it's like a little Haiti within a school. This is where they feel at home. For Andula St. John, that comfort is critical. And I was going to the United States. I was very, very, very angry, nervous because I can't speak English. It. All I can say was good morning and good afternoon. That's all. But even the most successful Haitian students still struggle. Paul Alceste Zamor got the highest possible score on the college level French advanced placement test before graduating earlier this year. Now he is in limbo, awaiting temporary protected immigration status so he can go to college in the United States. I cry sometimes because I see all the things I did last time ago, you know, when I came to the school. I study very hard to be as a top 10 to serve my class and then now I can go to school. For Zamor, going to college is not just for him but for his country. I want to be a great surgeon and then go back to Haiti to help people there. It's a goal other students share. Every Haitian, even though they weren't there when the earthquake happened, I think they have in mind to go to go successful and then do something for the country even though a little bit because when it all comes together it makes a big thing. Secretement. Until then, they'll stay close to their homeland through learning and language. Alex Villarreal, VOA News.